Hello fellow leggers! Stop! Let us take you to a place where membership's a smiling face, rubbing shoulders with the stars. And why is that, Lego Simon? Because we're at the Wolverhampton Grand Theatre to see the UK tour of the musical Club Tropicana. So stick around to hear our thoughts and find out how many stars... And whether it's break a leg or leg it. Club Tropicana UK tour. I am a little bit excited about this because oh, yeah. choreographer is Nick Winston, yes. co-director as well. Correct. He and is co-directing it with Samuel Holmes. I, I've, I've liked a lot of his choreography in the past. Great. Well, hopefully you're in for a bit of a treat because it's an 80s jukebox musical, Ooh. including <laughs> mega hits of the era by the likes of Cindy Lauper and Books Fizz. And I mean, we're approaching Eurovision season, so let's kick Eurovision fever off now. I'm all for that, guys. This tour stars former X Factor winner Joe McKeldry and former sugar babe Amel Beraba, who's making her musical theatre debut. Now, as you mentioned, fantastic creative team here. Here by Nick Winston and Samuel Holmes. It's the story of a budding bride and groom who get cold feet so decide to jet off se separately for some sizzling summer fun. Mm. Only they've booked into the same blooming hotel there at the Club Tropicana. Whoa! What could possibly go wrong? Um, I'm not a big, f I'm not a big fan of the 80s. Full disclosure, but you know what? I think I find a cure for that, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, get into the spirit of things. You only live once. You'll be singing along to those tunes in absolutely no time at all. That's even better, to be honest. So yeah, suck on your flam flamingo straw and get over yourself. Two and a half hours of fantastic fun, including a 20 minute interval. So we'll catch you again there, let you know all of our thoughts and stick around to the end to find out how many stars. It's the interval of Club Tropicana, which means it is time for the Breaker Leggers. 30 second interval breakdown. Go, what do you think so far? It's a lot of fun. It's a bit of a cross between Faulty Towers, Are You Being Served? Benidorm. Benidorm with a whole load of campness and 80s tracks thrown in. I am smiling from ear to ear. How about you? It's so bad, it's good. I'm having the best time. In fact, I can't remember the last time I had this much fun in a theatre. It's carefree, it's frivolous, it's completely throwaway. It can, but my God, is it fabulous! Well, Club Tropicana drinks certainly are free, and I don't know about you, but I've had a skinful. Okay, did you? No, I'm completely sober, <laughs> but I'm drunk on enjoyment. I had an absolute blast. I think if you come for a good time, you're going to have a good time at Club Tropicana. It feels really weird coming to this, coming off the back of Arthur Miller, in-depth character development plot, because this just isn't <laughs> yeah. any of that. I mean, let's face it, ain't it's no pulling to go into the book writer for this. There but ain't, the, but um, it doesn't matter. But I at don't the same care. time, the book is really good for this genre mm. of theatre, mm -hmm. which is just really... Um, Carefree. Carefree, taking the mickey, mm -hmm. that real 40, I, I really did feel as if it was a mesh together of 40 towers. Um, what else is that? Are You Being Served is like in there. Like all those classic sort of 70s and Send 80s um, farcical moments, yeah, I would call Yeah, like, and with those one-liners, those I would argue very, that um, um, I would argue that 40 towers has better character development. I saw some of the, those characters. But I, I could you argue the early, the early Consuela, is it? Was yeah. very much t lifted almost off of Forty Towers. Do you mean the Manuel character? Yeah, that's like what a I female felt like. Manuel. I felt that's what it was. Yeah, I mean, let's let's talk about that for a moment because, on paper, this piece could seem possibly racist, maybe a little bit xenophobic. 
and it it, it kind almost of is. is those it, it things, is. and there's no excuse for it except for comedy, right? Because comedy has no limits, and so because I, it's comedy, they get away with yeah, it. Yeah, right? and I do think that's the thing. You know, with sketch shows, like I'm thinking Catherine Tate, where or Little Britain. Whereas it's still funny. I mean, we feel a little yes. bit dirty for laughing at it, but it's still funny because it's comedy. The and genre it knows makes what it. it is. And I think that's the thing. It is what it is. Mm. It knows what it is. And it actually does it pretty well. Yes. The story is, the character, it still don't, didn't quite make sense to me. Yeah. Like, what's going on with the best friend? Yeah. Like, what was going on with the best friend? What was her the... alternative uh, motive? in screwing yeah. everything up and yeah, like, I mean you, this won't make any sense to unless you've seen it probably we're trying not to give too much this away this is why I think it's just you can't think too deep yeah, because exactly, if you look like too I deep said, you hit shallow there's bottom there's not a huge you hit a very quick soggy bottom there isn't there's a nothing huge there. there isn't a huge amount of character development here there's, and but, yet the characters are very broad and very bold they are, of what they are they are bold I mean there's a semi closeted gay character I don't know what he, he was. was he was raging come, yeah, the, end. come the end there's no was. closet about but, it and I did think it's sort of it, it, he was a, he's a gay character but he has straight friends and I was thinking you don't see that dynamic very often do you, you know like it's a group of lads on holiday it's not you, they're usually heterosexual and alpha male and they had there was this like little nod to do you know what gay people can be friends with those sorts of mixing those circles and I liked that I, I would have liked to have seen it more a, I'm a looking deeper, for death on <laughs> a deeper here. thing it oh. was kind of campus tits Try it. It is I think that's the phrase tits. you use yeah, and would. so it's just good fun yeah. I think camper that's in a room it. of tents dear yeah okay so we let's, got that's, that's the story <laughs> out of the way let's talk about um, some of the performances I um, loved a lot of the performances gotta, gotta, gotta say, say. Yeah. where are we going to start can we start at the top the title lead kind of Joe McAldry Joe McEldry yeah. in the role of Gary, the entertainment's manager. I thought he was brilliant. Just well cast, I think. I mean, again, I don't think he's acting. He's like super. It is him. He's it's never. For him. He's never going to be in a pinta. But this is made he for him. He does this so well. And do you know what? I think he could do it. There's there's a lot of impressions in this. By the way, we'll come on to um, Katie Robbins, Kate Robbins shortly. But I don't. Don't you want to see Joe McEldry play Shirley Bassey in Little Voice? Don't, don't you want to see him do Little Voice? I really want to see Joe McEldry play Little Voice. Well, let's see it happen. An agenda-swapped production of it, Little it, Voice. It could work. I think it could work. I thought vocally... Please direct he, it, someone. Vocally, he was great. He, he's, he was yep. camp as anything which yep. suited the role, as, yep. and he really played it up. He did. It was this hammy. This is written hammy. for him. It is tacky, he, but, but he also comes to the audience, well. and he has to work the audience as if he is an entertainment manager. Which works. And the way he related to the audience mm -hmm. was perfect. Absolutely. We warmed to him from word go. He has to get us up on our feet right on his entrance yeah. and we went with it yeah absolutely so, we'll come on to ovations a little while later because I want to talk a little bit about that too but um, more cast how about Amel Beraba as um, in her musical theatre debut ex -sugar, sugar babe in the role of Serena the hotel owner I thought she was great me too I can't wait to see her in In the Heights because that's bound to happen and I can't wait because I think she's brilliant she's got a I, lovely tone I wish we'd have had her sooner in our world and performance wise world. it was great as yeah. well her as acting it was brilliant actually. acting was brilliant yeah. within this genre yeah you, you again, know it again. Was, and she played a real straight character mm -hmm. against the craziness of, craziness of what was going on which was really well balanced and grounded yep so I really Loved liked her a lot her. Emily Tierney now you'll know her from actually this whole cast is a bit of a Eugenius uh, reunion there's a loads of them that were in Eugenius. Emily Tierney was super hot lady. She's also been in Lloyd Webber's um, Wizard of Oz, and and she's been in um, Wicked as well. Which one was she in this? She was Just the shunned me. wife, the one, well, the jilted bride. The jilted bride. Yep. I, I thought she was great as great well. Great voice. Um, yeah. A really high pitch, lovely sort of tone, clear, straight tone. Yeah. Just over again, there. a comedy, a nice comedy role as well. Mm. Um, who else did we like? I like just talk about Consuela. I mean, we've not mentioned many men here, though. Like, many men, many men. Let's talk about Consuela. I okay. thought she was comedy gold. I wanted to least say comedy the best to Comedy genius. Last. Nah, let's throw uh, her Kate, in. Kate Robbins did nine years on Spitting Image. She is a vocal impressionist master. And this, it came into its own today because she plays so many different characters. Um, and who knew she was such a talent? I mean, she had a number two in the 1980s with More Than Love, More Than In Love in the UK charts. But I didn't really know her. 
Um, Did you? I, I don't know her at she's all. She's Emily Attack's mother. But vocally she's great, she but is. she is comedy gold. Yeah. And it's all to do with those impressions. Yeah. Like literally, she was she hardly said anything in the first scene, mm-hmm. uh, apart from I have a sign. Yeah. I, and and we melted in her hands. She was comedy gold. She is it's a master class in physical comedy. Yeah. And she um is born for this part. I mean I can imagine she's born for many of them, but this born one for comedy performances. Yeah. Physical I think comedy performance. I'd love to see an she, audience with, she, and she just does a physical, one The way show. she physicalizes, like you say, just, just she morphs into this Spanish maid. I don't know how. It's almost magical. It really is. Loved her. I, I mean, taking the mick out of accents at yep. points, but it's the right genre. Yeah, yeah. So she gets away with it. To mention very quickly Neil McDermott in the role of Robert as well, another Eugenius alumnum. I'm a bit alumni. biased, but yeah, he's got a great voice. He's, yeah. again, a great um, straight role with, with all this craziness going around him. He's nice and grounded. Mm-hmm. And I think the women loved him. Yeah. I think. So... You know what I mean? Loved that. Great. Um, creatives, do you want to talk about Nick Winston's choreography? I thought You've it was done great. it again, mate. Suited the piece. Yes, you just great. know your audience. You really Pushes understand the his, um, era. You get yeah. you get movement and you get engagement. And I was thrilled again. I, my heart was in my mouth at some moments when it was all coming together and there were these high jumps and massive kicks and just yeah. big. I just loved it. Suited really Absolutely. well. Is that video, let's get physical, physical. Yeah. There was a lot of that kind of embedded into the choreography. Right, Olivia, and um, I think that he, yeah, he just gets it. Yes, and in his direction along with Samuel Holmes, well done for being bold and just thinking, no, not going to hide behind the fact that this is just a total tack fest. It is a tack fest. Just embrace it, guys, owned and the you tack have. Fest. Yeah, owned it. Let's wrap it up. Okay, I guess you're probably wondering how many stars we are going to give. Oh no, Club stop! Club. Sorry, can't wrap it up. Can't wrap oh, it up. Oh, what stop? Now, the now. What? It's one of those shows where you're invited upon your feet at the end. Oh, you right? said you wanted to talk about ovations. But I didn't feel obliged to stand up before the bows. In fact, a lot of people they didn't weren't. Encourage it. They yeah. didn't encourage it. They, they just weren't said, on the raise your hands. Yeah. They didn't do a get up they on your feet. They didn't beg for it. And I'm all for that. And when the moment did come, it's like, if you want to join in now, this is your moment. I was up there. I was living my best life. Because you weren't being told. I was clapping along. I love those big, <laughs> those big anthemic '80s numbers. Jump and and physical and relax. Go to it. Like all of the songs were there. Have we made an '80s fan out of you? I thought it was okay. Oh, I it was, the I music. The music was good. Do I you mean, know, the band like was the good 80s, actually. You're fine. The soundtrack was good. The band was good. Yeah. Having some life on stage. And I would just give a shout out to the orca- yeah. whoever orchestrated it because I think to take those songs that are really well known and make them into musical theatre numbers with a you know a small uh, orchestra are they an orchestra it's a band really with a small band it's a small Greg band. Arrowsmith as musical supervisor and arranger yes I think there was four of them great and they were job great. yeah great, yeah, great really job really good okay. okay we can round it up now now can we go on we stars can, can, okay can, can. I guess you're probably wondering how many stars we are going to give the tour of Club Tropicana currently here at the Wolverhampton Grand we are going to give four four stars now, for this piece now caveat guys we always call it out Really undiverse I, yeah. casting. There's no there's no reason to not have some people of different ethnicities, at least in the ensemble, guys. I mean, come on, it's a real shame that there isn't more diversity in now, the Now, I'm looking at where the fault lies, because we're, we're here talking about the piece, yeah. and I guess the fun of the piece and the performances were great. However, this is something we as Leggers champion, mm-hmm. and I think, does it fall on casting? Does it fall on directorial vision? So wherever that sits, for me, this is pulling the side down. Yeah. The representation on stage isn't what I... It's lacking in this... Today. But do you know what? It's still a bloody good night out, though, so let's not take away too much from that. Yep. But come along and make your own mind up. It's touring, it'll be hitting a city near you. And I think if you're a fan of, like, Benidorm and you're just coming for a good night out with the girls, or with the boys, you're going to have a great time. Yep, it's been out for a while as well, so, you know, that's just what I think. That's just what I think. To let us know what you think, if you've seen this piece already. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know down below. If you want to see more of us, subscribe, because we're the Breaker Leggers. And we'll catch you again soon. Bye. Bye.